Hi YouTube, it's Abby again, and I am here with something that I never really thought I'd do, but I'm going to show you guys how I do just my everyday makeup or like work stuff, because, you know, it's a lot different if you're going out or if you're just going to be like lazing about the house every day. I know this is the same t-shirt from my last video, but that last video was like a week ago. Don't worry, it's clean. I just, I, I love t-shirts. I don't dress up nicely unless I am going somewhere, and I am not today. Today is a sit at home on my ass day. Excuse Stop my it. French. So, I'm going to show you guys how I do my everyday makeup. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bangs out of the way, because I have side fringe bangs, you know, like covers half my face. So that, I'm going to just do that real fast. I'm going to bobby pin this up and out of the way. I know that looks really, really silly, but it is, oh, fudge. Hang on, let me try this again. Okay, just tuck that from in here. Okay, and if any of you want to know, um, my hair is usually kind of like this normally. I know it's pretty much this way in all my videos. It's either because I like to braid my hair a lot, or actually my hair is naturally very, very wavy. So if you want cute waves, like what over here, what I did is I just showered yesterday morning, braided my hair, and kept it that way all day to the side, and then took it out and slept on it, and it came out like this, so it's really pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do very, very first, that I always do first, is I take my EOS lip balm. This is in Strawberry Shortcake. I do this very first because I want it to soak into my lips before I put my other color on top of it because I don't want, like, greasiness, so... And that's all it really takes. This is a really awesome lip balm, guys. I'm like in... Uh, that's a cat hair. Sorry. Um, I'm really in love with this. So you guys need to try this. It's like the best lip balm ever. Alright, so I do that. And next we have Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. Now, what's really great about this stuff it is all natural. It's not sticky. It's not oily. Um, it's clear. There's no pigment to it. It's completely clear. It's not even white. It's clear. And you don't even feel like you're wearing it. See, I'll show you guys. There it is. Completely clear. So I just rub this on my fingertips and I just put this all over my face. Of course, except for my lips. So I do this. So you just want to put this all over your face and your crevices and a little bit on your neck because I put a little bit of foundation down there just so I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. You know, color one place, a different color below. All that lovely dark circles of mine, but don't worry, I'll be getting rid of those. Okay, that's that. It's strange, I usually wipe my hands off, but I'll be okay. That's the only time I ever really put my hands on your my face during makeup. Make sure you wash your hands before you do it. My hands are already clean, so. And now I'm going, next what I always do is my concealer, because I have really, really dark circles around my eyes. Um, and I just use Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Concealer in light. So what I do is I just take it and put three little dabs around my eyes. And then I put two on my lids. Just because they are that, that dark. <laughs> I look like some tribal lady. Ah. Alright, so yeah, that's my concealer. And then I just take my Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. Sorry, that's Lily again, guys. And I start under my eyes. And I get this blended in. This brush is really super, super, super soft. So it's great, and um, the edges are very, very straight, so you can get right underneath your eye. Very gentle. Look at the difference, guys. Isn't you know that just like amazing? Here, I'll do my top lid, so you guys can check out one eye that's concealed, and one eye that isn't on me. I'm pretty sure if I showed this to people, they'd be kind of amazed at what concealer can do. Look at the difference. That is just awesome. I absolutely love concealer. It is a lifesaver for me because I hate my dark circles with a passion. Um, it is probably the one thing I hate most about my body is these crazy, crazy ass dark circles. There you go. See isn't that how nice that is compared like this compared to this. It's just awesome. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to take out and pat our concealer out first and then we can kind of take our brush. Sorry, that was a weird face. And get this blended out. Oh, don't forget to corner your eyes because, you know, that's how that always happens. Okay, now our lids. And make sure when you're brushing on your eyes, guys, you don't do it very rough. It looks like I'm doing it kind of rough, but I'm really not. Sorry, my cat is rubbing up against my computer again. She seems to think she needs to put her scent on absolutely everything in the house, because she thinks she's total queen bee, and she probably is. So look, isn't that amazing, guys? Hey, it's Lily again. Say hi. Okay. She is running around. They're fighting again. Sorry, guys. This is my second video this has happened. Alright, so that's concealer part of my makeup routine. And then next I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Foundation in Fairly Light. This is what it looks like. So it's the twist and lock and go, so I just untwist it so I can get at it. I tap my makeup into the lid. And I take my full flawless face brush. What you do is you swirl. And you guys, you need to get this all up in your brush because... Um, and then you tap like this to get it down into the bristles. And what you do is you start with the cheeks and move your way inward. Close your eye and get it on your nose. And always go in a swirling motion. So you just want to do this. Get it down and then swirl for the second half of your face. I love Bare Minerals because since I'm talking a lot, this is going to be a long video, but usually this takes me about five minutes to do in the morning if I were to shut up and not say anything, which is impossible for me. So I shouldn't talk to you guys. And now you do the other side of your face and you just swirl and, well, it's called buffing. They call it buffing, but it's really just swirling the brush across your skin and it hides every little flaw. I absolutely love it. This gives great coverage because what's great about Bare Minerals is it, um, it is a powder, but it feels like a very, very light cream on your face. And that's how it goes. Sorry, I got to get it around my mouth without getting like up in schnoz places. So I just twist it back and lock it up and go. And that's what you, all you need to do with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, Bare Minerals Warmth and my Flawless Face Brush, which is a little bit smaller than my full face brush, just because it's easier to contour with it so this is what it looks like it's my bare minerals um this is real bare minerals guys i know i've seen some videos where people are like asking is that real bare minerals because there's like so much fake shit out there sorry i'm a major cursor but you only need a little itty bitty bitty bit 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 of this stuff because it is really really very pigmented and what i use this is as a slight bronzer and a face contour so you tap it down into your brush like this so it gets down into the bristles and then what I do is I do the little kissy fishy face and contour my cheeks. So and then what I do is I get these spots on my forehead, my temples. And then I get along my neckline and a little bit down in here and a little bit into my ears. And that's all I do with that, guys. That is just to contour your face. Now I'm going to take keep the same brush and I'm going to use my Physician's Formula um, Happy Go Lucky Blush. So, because I don't want to use my Mineral Veil yet, because Mineral Veil is really a great setting powder. So what I do is I just open up. It's so uber uber cute, guys. I just swirl it in. You smile and get it onto the apples of your cheeks. That's the easiest way to find the apples of your cheeks is just to smile. It's that part that kind of poofs out. And then I also bring it up by my eye just to give me a little more um, niceness because I have natural blush in my cheeks, so I just want something that's going to kind of highlight it. So what I'm going to do now is take my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and my smaller Flawless Face Brush, and I'm going to brush this all over my face. Now, again, with the Mineral Veil, you only need a little bit, guys. This goes a very long way. So I already had some open here because it was already in the case. You only need a little bit, like 
don't know if you can see that, you probably can't. But it's not much. Because Mineral Veil is a setting powder. And I know, oh, you didn't put on your eyeshadow. Um, my everyday face makeup, I don't wear eyeshadow. I just wear eyeliner and mascara. So now, we just do the same technique we did before. Just brushing this all over your face. Um, I don't use my full flawless face brush because it's got my foundation in it. And I really don't want funk a dunkly color layers everywhere. So, just do this. Get a little bit into my ears. And that's it for that, guys. So that is my basic foundation, along with, you know, concealer and um, blush. Now what I'm going to do is take my eyeliner, which is, I'm pretty sure, Maybelline New York, like, unstoppable eyeliner, and it's just an onyx, yeah. So all I ever do is line my lower waterline, because I don't like lining any place else, because I feel like I would mess up on my upper lash line because I have before and it looked so oh super silly. And what I do is I stick this in the corner of my eye and just make a little flick. It just kind of gives you that cat eye elongated look. That's what I do for that. So that's just my eyeliner. And then I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl my lashes. Um, never curl your lashes with mascara on there. I know a lot of people do that, but that can make your eyelashes um, stick and actually like come out. So, do not curl your lashes with mascara on. Do it beforehand. And then just take your mascara. And this is my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. I'm okay with this mascara, but like I said in my other video, it smells weird. So I'm not absolutely, totally fond of it. Now, my image is flipped on this camera, guys, so I'm kind of actually going at this blind. Because it's hard when your left is your right and your right is your left. So get that and get your lower lashes. So then last thing we got to do, guys, is just to take um, another lip balm. It's my baby lips in Pink Punch because I only really, really wear lip gloss when I'm going out. And I love this lip gloss because it's not too pigmented. I know it looks really, really Barbie pink, but I promise you, it's really not that bad of a color. And yeah, that's kind of it. Take your bob a pin out kind of fix your hair a bit and this is what I do for just every day guys like if I have to go to work or if I'm just sitting around at home or I'm not I'm going out of the house but I'm not doing anything like super special so yeah that's it I hope you liked it and I gotta go y'all see you later bye